Thank you, Dr. Damien. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'll begin by making a small distinction between a refugee crisis and this particular refugee crisis in Lebanon. A refugee crisis is generally measured proportionally to its incidence on the economy, security, and other factors in quantifying the problems of integration of a small foreign minority in Lebanon. The subtle measurement of minor deflection of these issues is completely smashed by the overwhelming number of Syrian refugees that jeopardize all the social balance and the foundations of the society. On a population of four million Lebanese, one million and a half Syrians, Syrian refugees are declared, another half million are not declared, plus half a million of Palestinians and hundreds of thousands of Syrians naturalized Lebanese, but their heart will and belonging go to Syria. Some 2,800,000 foreign people are setting their burden on a 4 million Lebanese population. That's clearly destructuring an already, an already unstable equilibrium. Lebanon is based on a particular equilibrium which is very fragile, and it's in the interest of the world to preserve that equilibrium. Because all the contradictions of the world meet there and can be solved there, and find their kind of expression in a generalized uh, international way. So Lebanon is very precious and very fragile. And coming to 200, 2,800,000 people, foreign people, only 4 million unbalanced people, that's a huge problem. This is no more a question of refugees considered in the classical manner. It's that of the alienation of the Lebanese people in their country. The question is not how to assimilate a flood of people because you cannot, you clearly cannot stop a flood, but you can maybe divert it. How can the world assist resolving this crisis? In seeking for inter an internationally secured zone in Syria with the consentment of the belligerent parties, not imposing that secure zone, but a consensually admitted secure zone near the Lebanese frontier. It's okay. So take these people from this side of the frontier to the other. We're not talking about making a new war in Syria, but a region where these people can settle temporarily with a program of a temporarily reinstallment, beneficiating from a United Nations economic, educational, and medical care facilities. And while the, the situation of a state of war is still perduring in Syria, some groups of refugees could be resettled in their hometowns and areas or in the vicinity of them, assuming that these regions are no more in the line of fire. And there are many regions in Syria that are no more in the line of fire. And when secured enough, they can begin the reconstruction process, beneficiating hopefully from United Nations and donor support to restructure their local societies again. This procedure can be generalized to all the refugee groups when a consensual peace process is implemented. The reinstallment of all the refugees need an international agreement that will lead to an appropriate national constitution 
and with enough funds, these refugees of today will become the work force of the reconstruction of Syria tomorrow. In the fields of rebuilding, of reconstructing the industry, the agriculture, the education, the hospital and healthcare system. This proposal renders justice to the Syrian refugees by offering them a reintegration procedure in Syria. And believe me, they need a reintegration procedure in Syria. Their big problem will be how to be, be Syrians again. Because many social destructuring situations have occurred in Syria. If I take the case of Aleppo, for example, I love this city. The city of Aleppo was unified culturally and at the same time a mosaic of many entities living side by side. And these entities were Alepine in the first stance and then had their particular traditions going back to centuries. All this beautiful mosaic is destructured today. How can you rebuild the society of Aleppo tomorrow? So let's give these Syrians the possibility of reintegrating Syria by becoming the workforce of the Syria of tomorrow. So we give justice to the Syrians while preserving Lebanon from endorsing the unbearable pressure of their installation on its soil. Any consensus leading to consider to consider the integration of these refugees in Lebanon can easily jeopardize its precarious social equilibrium. There has been some talks somewhere that Lebanon can endorse partially this problem. Well, clearly it cannot. It cannot anymore. We had the experience of half a million Palestinians that have put Lebanon in a civil war of 17 years and uh, put Lebanon in front of a total deperdition. Believe me that today, if any, any, any supplementary pressure is put on the Lebanese society, it will trigger a second civil war a second civil war that will completely break Lebanon. And if Lebanon is broken, it's a huge problem for everybody. First, the Middle East will be no more a safe place for anybody. Because from Lebanon you can generate chaos. And when you have chaos in the Middle East, nobody can control chaos again. It will be an explosive, fluctuating situation, exporting terrorism to anywhere. The stability of Lebanon is a basic need for the international society. I, I will not go to, to more details because I know my, my friend Namat will, will give you enough information on all that and I leave uh, the rest for, for the discussion. Partly maybe to tell you that not all of these refugees are war refugees. And uh, the question is delicate to tackle. Thank you.